I love you. You are loved. One person is killed in a fiery crash earlier today. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Rod Fowler. Megan is off this evening. The crash happened this afternoon just east of Lincoln near the Bennett exit on Highway 2. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Brent Von Fleur talked to the victim's wife tonight. Brent. Rod, I'm learning tonight. The person who died had some tough issues he was trying to overcome. And two young kids and a wife are now left behind. Wednesday afternoon, the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office responded to a one-vehicle accident just east of Lincoln near the Bennett exit. Authorities say the car 26-year-old Thomas Neely of Lincoln was in veered off the road, hit a bridge pillar, and caught on fire. Several bystanders began first aid, but Neely was pronounced dead at the scene. His wife, Emily Neely, asked that Thomas be referred to as Caitlin. She said Caitlin, who served in the Army for four years and had recently come out as transgendered, had also been diagnosed with PTSD as a result of her military service. She'd been battling inner demons for months. Kate's biggest source of anxiety, apprehension, depression, um, dysphoria, was the fact that she is transgender. Um, she's been accosted on the street from cars. She's been called slurs, all kinds of things. She talked to Caitlin on the phone in her final moments. She thinks she may have taken her own life. I did call her before she uh, crashed. Um, and that was a hard conversation. I remember I begged her to call her therapist at the VA. I begged her to reach out to somebody. And she told me it just, uh, it didn't matter anymore. The couple has a two-year-old son and six-year-old daughter. Emily says she just wishes she could have let her wife know how much she meant to all of them. I love you. You are loved. Now the sheriff's office has not ruled it a suicide at this point. They are still investigating. All right, sad story. Brent Bonfleur from the newsroom with our top story. Thank you, Brent.